Hello guys, welcome to one more tutorial about this last freebie that we posted in our free goodies for designers.blogspot.com. This is a iPad uh, scroll down animation, super easy to edit, and I'm gonna start right now showing for you guys. So here we have our timeline uh, down here with uh, our layers. Uh, uh, it, once you click in the thing you see that the animation is going on here so here we have the layers I have a little light on the on that pad that you, you can eliminate if you don't need that I have the screen here that where we we have our animation I put this layer as edit animation I have the iPad and I have of course the background and I have a little light here in the top corner so to edit your your animation you just double click here uh, and here you're gonna appear in the in the animation uh, file so it's gonna open a new file with with the plan uh, uh, pad uh, screen so I divide this into two layers you have the top bar and the and the page I right here double click to place your site because this is in here that you're gonna place your site not in this file so uh, I'm gonna explain the animation that we have here after so first you want to put your site here you just double click and then you place here if your site have the same proportions of my site here that is this one you just drop in a JPEG save this file and it's gonna automatically update here if you want to place a bigger file, you just like, um, and I'm gonna simulate here, you just like crop the file to be a little bit bigger. How we added a bigger scroll down page. So I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna show you guys how this is gonna update in our animation file. So once you close here, you see that we change a little bit the order of the frames. And that's why, because I have this little uh, animation place for for that size of screen. So now that you, that we change the size of the screen, the animation is not functioning that good. For example, you start from here, so uh, that's okay. We just simply need to to adapt here. So we just like drag this layer here for our first. And then we see that we have there and then when you came in here you can just simply drag for what page you want to do in the next frame uh, I used to do a little bouncing thing here so it's quite simple you can just copy this frame and paste here and then you have both frame here and then if you want to do a little bouncing effect as well and I'm gonna show what it is you just like drag a little bit up like the page will pass a little bit and then it's gonna stay in the time Whoop. and then I want that this page is stay for a while here so I just like copy and then I just paste here and then what's gonna happen is like our animation is gonna come, it's gonna bounce a little bit and then stay and then we're gonna move for the next page and then here you do the same if you want to show the next page and I'm gonna show my page it's just like to bring where you want to show is not here it's this and then you just copy this frame for the other one they're gonna be wait copy here and paste here Yes, so they are the same and if you want to do that little bounce effect as well so you just like whoop, go a little bit up with the frame and then animation is done so you see our page is gonna bounce a little bit stop and then continue and bounce a little bit and then stay so that's the basic stuff if you have more stop and more pages you just create a new layer so it's super simple to create new layers you just uh, try to make the same space for the animation because this is, this is the speed of your animation so 
you just come from this one and then you see for sorter this space so you click in a new frame in this little square here the transform layer and then you just like drag for where you want to put and I'm gonna put here in the logo and then the animation is done for this one if you want to do the little balls in fact you guys already know what to do and if you have a huge 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 site you just continue here and then you you when you get in the end of this layer you just get with this symbol here you just like drag the layer more for have more space of animation so it's simple like that and then you continue doing here no problem so once uh, I'm gonna end my animation here, so I'm gonna delete this guy here and I'm gonna end here. So I'm just gonna crop animation here. So it's good that you you finish the images here or else it's gonna be like a, a stop image for a long time and you don't want that. You want the animation finish when, the, when you finish moving stuff. So once you've done your file, you just command S and you save and then you are gonna have here your animation then so and then you guys can see that my animation get a little bit shorter if you go to the link of the animation you get a little bit shorter than the rest so we have to do almost the same that we did last we just like bring the layers to finish together with the animation because we don't want that that uh, this frame continues stop here so we just like bring all the frames to finish together so we have like a very nice animation here and then once you have done normally the in this frame is kind of for some machines maybe you have a very good machine but my my MacBook Pro is not that fast so you don't have a very good preview here you see it looks like very bad so it's better to look at the preview of your animation in this frame here that you can feel a little bit timing and stuff because it goes better like so you can feel a little bit how how your animation is played because it's more it's not so heavy here so once once you feel already you go and export so you 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 don't save a file like this you don't go and save a file like this because you're gonna save a PSD file you go and export and export a render video and then here you're gonna have the screen and if you're not familiar with this kind of screen you just need to come here and like show choose QuickTime or HD8264 then here you can see in Windows and everything so it's like you have even like to export to YouTube video here and a lot of presets so uh, in this case I will show QuickTime because I'm gonna show you guys how you do a GIF animation from this out. So you, you have to export a movie to do the GIF animation. So you just like export uh, uh, this. So you click in render and you're gonna start rendering. I'm not gonna click because I already have one file ready for we see. And then once you render move animation, don't render. Uh, sometimes the T4 get a little bit tricky to open in Photoshop, but QuickTime is perfect. So here we just open a dot .move file in Photoshop and to edit move is super nice. You guys can see here like that we're gonna have in the layer like this video group layer. Uh, if you're not familiar with open, opening videos in Photoshop it's super simple to work with. Once you open you're already gonna have the, the video in the timeline there and then if you if you right click with your mouse, if I'm right, if you are in a MacBook Pro, you just like click with holding control. So you're gonna have this screen here that you can make your video faster or slower or and 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 you have like a little edit for music here, but and then you just import a music file here and edit music. But we are not seeing that right now, we just seeing like what you can do with your with your timeline. So since we are doing animated GIF here, uh, I would uh, make this a little bit more faster and I could make like 150% more faster and it's gonna be five seconds. And this could be good for a GIF animation. So I'm just gonna choose this five seconds and then I'm, I'm gonna see if I can cut a little bit more because 
GIF animations can be very, very nice to be the smallest as possible the file. So I would cut my animation here since my animation ended here. And to cut is super simple. I can or drag as I show you for you guys late, later, uh, earlier, or I can like just click in this slicer here and I'm splitting my timeline. Once I'm splitting my timeline, just like this one and delete. Simple as that. So since we are like exporting a GIF, animation, image size is everything. I, I did super big because uh, this mockup is made for you to present your files in a video format. It's a nice way to present to your clients like your page, how it's going to look and in a very nice way. So you could like just showing a move for your clients with their site like just scrolling down. But you also can present this as your portfolio and show your work in Dribbble, for example. And to show you for Dribbble, they, they have uh, this 800 by 600 format. So I, I'm just going to make as this 800 by 600. I'm going to click OK. And once I did that, I cannot change anything on the speed of the movie. So be sure that you like the speed of the movie before you do that, because once you convert for a smart object layer, you cannot do that anymore. So you have, again, to open the move again and do the thing. So if you're really sure that, ah, this speed is good 150 or or this this uh, size of the frames of the cut is good, then you convert, then you, then you make the images more. Once you convert the video, you're gonna have like a little small and you can see here, if I click in the right of the timeline, I cannot do anything more. I just have this pan and zoom effects and stuff like that. So I cannot play with the speed and, 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 and the size of the movie. So, um, but I can, I can cut a little bit if I want. So once you've done this, you're gonna maybe edit your canvas size because I think Dribble have 800 for 600 so you just go to canvas size and cut for 600 then you have to find the nice format and if you want to save for the Dribble format uh, that's 400 for 300 we are writing the proportion it's just like save for this proportion as well so once we did that we're gonna save our GIF animation and then save for web uh, here we have our GIF property, so it's uh, normally I used to use this one. You can see our GIF is not that big, although it has a lot of layers. So uh, I'm just going to keep with the this uh, option. I used to open the forum because then we can play a little bit around to see what is the better resolution. I use also to take out my light frame from the iPad because GIFs are not that good to recognize like gradient pattern so it's like it's better to take out this kind of effects here I used to take out mine but in this one I didn't and uh, most important here you check this box here that calls forever that's gonna make your animation playing loop forever so once it's done you just save and that's gonna be on GIF so is that hope you guys like it Keep following us on free goodies for designers.blogspot.com. So uh, we are having almost every day a lot of stuff to show. So keeping visiting us, keeping uh, supporting our work, and I hope you guys like it and share this around with your friends and like us on Behance and like us on Dribble and we're gonna keeping up our work. See you. Bye bye.